Okay guys, in a previous video, I walked through the business info section of business settings. I did mention that you probably want to leave the pages and notifications turned on under both my info and under business options. Just wanted to point out that pages and notifications, this toggle switch here, this is going to be uh, for all people in your business to be able to see business notifications. Now, if you want to turn off business notifications for yourself, you're going to do that under the notifications tab, which we'll take a look at in a second. But you probably want to leave this on, though, uh, for other persons in your account, especially I had mentioned before, if you invite like a, a virtual assistant to your account or someone on your team uh, to be able to uh, manage different parts of the business in terms of posting every day or something like that, they might need to see those notifications. So leave this on for them. But for you, though, if you navigate to notifications in the business settings section, this is where you can go in and adjust via this little toggle switch here, any of the uh, the notifications that you see under these options under here. So this is the business permissions section. This is going to notify you if you are uh, when another business requests permission to access your assets. So that means in terms of like your your pixel, your your account, uh, your 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 business page and so forth so you'll probably want to leave that on that way if someone's trying to uh gain access uh whether it's legit or not you'll want to be notified so you can either get um, a little notification in facebook and that's what that little bell notification stands for or via email i'd keep them both on business roles this is for receiving notifications when someone joins or leaves your business and by business i do not mean your actual business operations uh, that you do let's say that it was like a window cleaning company or something like that it doesn't actually facebook's not smart enough to know whether or not someone has been fired or decides to leave that business what this means is if someone leaves your facebook business manager uh either they left voluntarily or you kicked them out uh you're going to want to get a notification here uh, business updates this notification pertains to when there are changes to the settings of your business so if you're making some sort of a, a major change over here, you'll probably want to get a notification. This is beneficial if you've got perhaps someone invited into your business and they're making changes. You'll probably want to be alerted to that. That way they're not making the wrong types of changes. Support. Receive notifications when Facebook support contacts you about your business. Now, most likely you might be reaching out to Facebook to try to uh, maybe get like a, an appeal or something like that you want to have this turned on but if facebook reaches out on their own uh, accord uh without you initiating it you'll probably still want to get those notifications so i would leave those turned on marketing updates you probably don't want this by default they turn this off fortunately um you can keep this turned off you really don't need this partner program updates this is for receiving information and updates from the, the facebook marketing partner programs uh, I would leave this turned off. You don't really need it. By default, it's it's turned off. You don't need these event notifications, newsletters, and program information. And for pages, the pages section. So this is where you can see new likes, reviews, and more for pages connected to your business. So I had mentioned in the other video that you might eventually decide to turn your notifications off. This is why you might want to turn it off. Because if your page is busy with activity, which you hope it is, you really don't want to see when 800 people have liked your page that particular week. So I would go ahead and turn that off. You will want to periodically look for reviews. Um, that way you can go in and respond to reviews. That is a very positive thing for you to do. If it's Even if it's good or bad reviews, you still want to review. And if they're leaving bad reviews, you've got to spin it and make it look really good so that you're giving good service no matter what. Because other people are going to see other people's bad reviews on your page and they want to see how you respond. Ad accounts. Uh, if you have an ad that's been approved and so forth, you're going to get notifications on that. Again, this is going to get kind of uh, overwhelming if you're running a bunch of ads for a bunch of clients and so forth. So you might want to turn that off, but I'd keep it on until you, you get the, the, the swing of things. Honestly, I'd keep all notifications on for about a month, and then after that, you can go in and adjust accordingly. WhatsApp. Uh, most of you probably aren't using WhatsApp, so even if you had it on, it really doesn't matter. Catalogs, this is going to let you know if there's uh, any emails coming in or notifications here uh, pertaining to issues encountered in the catalog of the business. Uh, I, I don't really run into this too much as being too problematic or, 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 or bothering me, so I don't really worry about that. And then pixels, receive notifications about pixels you manage through this business. I'd keep this one on. 
and apps. Again, I had mentioned before that you're probably not working with a developer to create an app. If you are, keep that on. Otherwise, don't worry about it. All right, guys, I hope that helps in terms of notifications. Let's keep moving on to the next section.